morning everyone. Bit of a kind of slower morning. I had to go to formation, but we didn't have PT or anything. So I took Doggo, this Doggo right here, out for a walk. Um, and then now I'm gonna show you guys kind of like what I eat in a day. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, honestly, since I think deployment. So we're gonna get to that today. <laughs> So I always start off with eggs. Um, I'm not really like that picky. <laughs> I just like to always buy them in bulk. Um, so I get, these are Eggland's Best. I don't think I've actually ever tried these before, this brand. Um, so yeah, I know some people like separate the whites. I don't, um, maybe one day I will. But I cook three of these eggs. Or when I say cook, I mean scramble. show it on camera but this morning when I wake up I do have like a really large glass of water I like to put lemons in it if I have lemons I didn't have lemons this morning um, so now I'm just drinking water with like lemon juice that you can just put in there so after I finish my eggs um, I like to let it sit for a second before deciding if I'm still wanting to eat um, if I do decide to eat some more I'll either have a yogurt or a banana something a little bit smaller like that um, but while I let my food settle uh, what I like to do is make my cup of coffee for the morning um, I don't have anything fancy really when it comes to coffee right now I've been having the Seattle's best breakfast blend um, but just yesterday I actually picked up the 1850 Trailblazer. I usually like more of a medium to dark roast versus a lighter blonde roast. I love drinking out of my Chemex. I don't know, it's just something really relaxing about it, personally to me. Um, I just use these Chemex filters. Uh, they're the square size, the bonded filters. Um, nothing too fancy about them. I actually buy them off Amazon, so. In case anyone is wondering, they just come in this box, and I like to I like them to actually already be pre-folded. Um, I used to have the circular ones where they did not come pre-folded, and I had to fold them, and honestly, this is just easier. So I talked about them being pre-folded, and then I actually do make an additional um, fold in them. So I take them, stick my hand in the middle, and I just fold them, kind of like in a triangle, so they just sit a little bit easier in the Chemex like that. Okay, so. My coffee is definitely one of those rituals that I sincerely enjoy in the morning and I like to take the time to do it properly. So one thing I like to do is just make sure that this taste from this filter isn't gonna be in the coffee. So once the water is nice and hot, I pour a little bit um, into the filter just to kind of wash out that taste a little bit. I'll pour it onto the sink. And then once that filter is nice and wet, that's when I actually take my coffee, so I decided on the Seattle's Best Breakfast Blend this morning. Um, and I'll pour two tablespoons into the filter. All right, so once I have two tablespoons in there, that's when I will um, pour the initial amount of water. And, uh, okay, <laughs> long story short, and I know I'm taking a lot of time to explain my coffee. Let me put the camera down. I wasn't expecting to spend quite too much time talking about the coffee. But when I first started using a Chemex, I liked to grind. Who's calling me? Oh, it's well. Hold on. So I used to like to grind my own beans. Um, and then I actually broke my grinder. And so now I just buy like pre-grinded beans, which I don't like as much because they're not as fresh. Um, but what I like to do is I like to let that first drop of water kind of let the grinds bloom, which works a little bit better when you grind the beans yourself. Um, and then after that, when it gets looking like this, that is when I just do the traditional pour over, like that. Hey boogers, you sleepy? Are you sleepy? <laughs> So I'm pretty much done with my coffee and I've decided that I'm not hungry. Um, I just really have been trying to listen more to like what my body actually needs. So you know if I'm 
super hungry or not, and then I'll eat more. But if I'm not really hungry, then I don't need to add, you know, the extra calories in my diet or whatever. So just the eggs this morning. I'm about to go take a shower, get ready for work. I got a couple things going on. This isn't like really a vlog video necessarily. So I probably won't necessarily show you everything that I'm doing today. But if you are wondering, I am gonna go get my will done today. Something that I just wanted to update before I got out of the army because doing that on the civilian side is kind of expensive. So I have an appointment to get my will done here in a little bit um, and just run a couple of like boring adult errands like getting another social security card, those kind of things. So um, yeah, so I will see you next at lunch. So I am home for lunch, um, did some adult things. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really thought about what I was gonna have for lunch today. So we're gonna figure this out real quick. Okay, so first I'm gonna make this white cheddar broccoli rice mix. Okay, so we're gonna bring that to a boil and while the rice is cooking, I just have some blackberries here that I'm gonna snack on. So one thing I am gonna add to the rice once it starts boiling is some baby spinach. Um, and I wanna make a video about this probably my next video will be about this but just about like my vegetables and that kind of stuff i am trying to eat a lot more greens but it's kind of hard for me honestly like i don't enjoy them i don't find them good um but i have to like trick myself into eating them so how i do that is by adding them to things like rice to make it kind of more delicious my car was cold till 59 so in addition to the spinach, I'm actually going to add some kale in there too. This is just some fresh kale I got from the produce section. Um, like I said, I don't like green stuff, so I have to trick myself into eating it. Um, so kind of like how I added spinach in there, I am going to add kale in there as well. I'm not going to cook the kale though. I don't necessarily like cook kale. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried it. So let me know in the comments below. Do you like cooked kale? Do you think it's better than raw kale? Also, I've been trying to incorporate more tea in my diet. Um, so this is just some tea that Alex made before she left. Uh, she just brewed a huge pot of it and then put it in this glass jar. I think it's some kind of herbal tea. I'm not honestly sure what it is to be honest, but it's literally delicious. And I normally drink tea hot, but I've been drinking this cold lately and it's so good. And it's been really helpful for me to just have like more of an intake with tea. Okay, so while that cools down, I am gonna heat up some rotisserie chicken. I absolutely love rotisserie chicken because I think it's just so easy, um, a nice way to get some extra protein in there. Sometimes I eat the skin, sometimes I don't, but this is a microwave safe, a supposedly bag, so we're gonna throw this in here. Okay guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. You have a bed of rice that has spinach, broccoli, and kale in it, um, topped with chicken and, um, uh, not cooked kale. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm going to be having for lunch along with just a glass of water. Okay, I just got done at the gym. I didn't record my workout or anything, but I've been trying HelloFresh lately. Um, I'm not sponsored at all because I feel like they sponsor literally everyone but me. But uh, I've been trying HelloFresh because my roommate tried it and he really likes it. So tonight I'm going to be making the Presto Pesto Panko Chicken. It's pretty late at night. Um, it's already 7.30, so I need to get on it. I don't like to eat too late. salad it's just um the spring mix it has a squeeze of lemon some olive oil salt pepper and then i actually put some of this um that stuff on top just to give it a little extra flavor so i couldn't really resist um holding off on the salad so i've eaten most of the salad but this is kind of what it just looks like is potatoes um, I think the chicken's gonna turn out really good actually. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up today's um, video, which was just, you know, what I eat in a day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, kind of seeing like what I eat in a day. I've been really trying to just eat healthier and listen to my body and all those kind of fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you guys eat in a day, what you guys are doing um, to eat healthy and things like that. Maybe some tips and tricks, cause like I said, I really struggle eating green things sometimes. And I've been really trying hard 
the past 24 hours. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it guys. Please like this video if you did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. I am trying, okay, yo, let's be real for a second. I am trying to reach 10,000 subscribers, okay? So, do your girl a favor, share my channel, you know, just help a sister out. So, subscribe guys, share my channel, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.